um, that was position. If I go to color, um, I've got CMY on these three uh, encoders here and uh, by changing the uh, the different position there, there you go, I've just wheeled uh, cyan to 100% and out in the stage you can see, there you go, they've gone blue and just hold that image there for a second, I'll just wind up the magenta, ooh that's a deep blue. I've got those two lights selected. Um, there is a little tool in this thing. Now uh, on the uh, on the console, if I there's a button here that's marked Tools. If I go Shift Tools, you'll see on the screen here that it's changed the what's happening on the S keys, and one of them says Color Picker. That's over there on S11. I'm going to hit S11 now, and on the screen I've got a color picker. Now, pick a color, any color. Let's pick green. Okay, I'm going to click there. Let's see what the stage looks like. Oh, look at that. Now I'm going to click on yellow. This is really just a JPEG. It's nothing more than a JPEG. You can load your own JPEG and uh, match that color. So, for example, this is one that's kind of built into this uh, into the console, and we can go. You know what? I really want this kind of funny-looking peachy color down here. And you can see on the stage. Oh, look! It's gone that color. How about the blue of the text that's up here? I'll click on that one there, and look at that. How about the pink of that? Yep, that's the pink of the uh, the word light, uh, whatever that is, lightolia. Um, so uh, you can take your corporate logo, you can take a photo of your costumes, of your scenery, things that you want to match the colour of. Um, pop it into the D drive, and uh, once you pop it into the D drive, and you then um, shut down and restart palette, it will appear underneath this um, drop-down menu here. So there's a couple of ones that are, are built in the linear, uh, the sorry, the linear spectrum that we looked at. There's a radial spectrum. You know, some people like various different types of of things. These are actually um, uh, <laughs> gel swatch books. Um, a great idea, not terribly useful in the greater scheme of things, but you know, interesting idea. I tend to use that one because that gives you um, light to dark and um, the full gamut of colors from left to right. So that's the one I tend to use the most of.